John chapter 5. Yeah, nice chapter this time, no? John chapter 5, verse 1 to. Let's go up to. 14. 14. 14. 14. Mm. We'll go up to 15. Uh, okay. John chapter 5, verse 1 to 15. Before we read, John chapter 5, verse 1 to 15. I want us also to remember John chapter 10, verse 8. Remember. Isaiah 59, verse 1 to 5. Don't forget Matthew 19, verse 26. And Mark chapter 9, verse 23. The <laughs> Sheshio kama timbo angwe omwe ingeli omwe ne kwa londo kela metale Ndere kwa nyinga nyifa omeva Ndere uta imo tete omeva ishi anyinga nyifa Otabe luka kukeshe otu e ukwete Ndere opari omnu omenu uari tabele omnu dominongo natu na hetatu Hano Yesus eshi ya mwona anangara Ndere kwa shiva anyinga etimbo lile tabele Kwa chaku ye Wahala kuveluka Opo mnautu opo mnya mkula tati Omwene ame Nina nomnu tatwa Nina Omwene ame Nina nomnu tatwa lange metale Omevange nge tanyi nga nyigifwa Dele fimbo handiko Umwe tatisi komeshe yange Yesus okwacha kwe Fikama kufa olutara loe uende Dele tiva tiva omnu menu okwa veluka Dele akufa olutara loe uende tai Dele ne fikolo Lali ya sabata Opo wabayu utawacha kwa au hameluka Okune shabata itashitulika okuhumbata o utara Oye kwa kanya mkula O uamelulange ya uparongi lange Kufa o utara loe uende Opo kwa wabe mpula Onumenua uwelelea kulongi la Kufa o utara loe uende Mereni o uamelua ina mshiva o uelelea Yesus ahangika atapo Kusheshiwa pari onguduine ni wabangu Dere kwa ni mawe ni maa ehi Yesus okwe mwa na mote mbeli Dere tiku ye Ta obe uwa beluka ino nyona bali Uwa hangi keko uhi umwe utume winya Dere umu menu okwa ya Dere hai paulula wa yu tanda kucha O emu beluna o Yesus Amen Hallelujah The message is very Clear Yesu maa kwa ngaena It is pure and this message is for you and I. And it doesn't matter how many years you have been going through in that predicament. Wait for Jesus Christ to come. Wait for him in his presence. Oh, in Noah days, wait for him in his house. Ask the Holy Spirit. Help my unbelief to believe. I remember you speak in the book of Matthew 19, verse 26, that with God all things are possible. I know I have a predicament that will not make me rest. When I open my own eyes in the physical way, I can see hope. I can't able 
But your words to keep me standing. Sustain my faith in the pool. So that I stand beside the pool to wait for your coming. To wait for your touch. To wait for your will. To honor your words. <laughs> to remain in, in you and with you. This man he know that for so many years, 30 years, he try when the angel comes. So that he jumped in the presence of God to touch the hand of God, <laughs> to provoke the anointing, so that he attracted the healing. But in the flesh, it's possible. He was having too much complaints. That, yeah, my children, no one is taking care of them. Hey, I have debits. My husband is angry. I need money. I have to go to work. I am tired. I was working Saturday. I did not rest. We have so many complaints. Like this man. He knows his need of healing. Because if Jesus Christ was aware that this man is qualified for this healing, he will not ask him. He will not ask him. He asks him because he knows that his heart is far. He's hopeless. Are you here in the same footprint of this man? Is those years that you've been sick becoming an excuse? Do you think you cannot receive healing? Have you went to so many places of prayers? Have you finished all the private doctors? But maybe Jesus Christ was still in the way. Maybe your heart was not ready to receive your baby to receive your husband to receive your job to receive your healing it's just a matter of time but in the timing of Jesus Christ what he said, he will do it. As long as that's what he said. As long as he's the one who said. He will do it. That's why you see people like this in You're supposed to tell yourself, I am next. I will not get tired of following Jesus Christ. I will not get tired of seeking his faith. Because only the faith of Jesus Christ will praise Jesus Christ. The faith that you need is the one for Jesus Christ. Not your own faith. Not the imitation faith. But the one that is genuine. This one that you will not doubt. Because it's already controlled by the words. 
is having a foundation of the ancient one. To me, this is very strong. It's unshakable. It has never been defeated. What are you looking for? You don't need to look at how I speak. Don't judge my appearance. Judge my vision. Judge me by the heart. Judge me by the frogs. If Jesus Christ say yes, it will not just say an empty word. So don't concentrate on the tone. But prepare your heart. And help your heart that it is time. It is your time. My body, don't concentrate on what you feel. It is his time. Sometimes you come here because you feel pain on the stomach or in the womb. You want to touch my hand and put your hand in my womb. Because that's what that's your faith. But I'm not working according to your faith. There is somebody who is man operating in the human nature is power. If your faith Believe that if I touch you, his faith is more because that one is your faith. The moment you are sitting down and you are saying, If he touch me, he saying that. If you hear his voice, he will take the place. Healing is taking place. Deliverance is taking place. Restoration is taking place. You've been going to so many different places. Looking for divine peace. Looking for divine freedom. Looking for divine love. Looking for divine healing. You are looking for divine solution. Are you looking for divine liberty? Remain at the poor. Don't expect him to come at your timing. And have faith that he said we will meet at the prayer Monday or at the pool. What you need is faith. By this time, I want to remind you that your faith is your visa to enter. Your visa is your qualification or your key to enter in the water where the angel is proper. So I want to call it this pool was there was an, an, an anointing water called the blood of Jesus Christ. 
ndane ndikulombe kucha mezi bali omwali muno meba bale kwa owa ufanonde a Jesus Christ wa so many people na kwali muno bano bapo who are seeking of help obo kwita akongo yepapo everyone was there according to their faith kese umwe okwali bo shipatela ke tabelo lai and the grace of God when Jesus Christ came, He touched those who have been waiting for you. Because when you come here, don't come here because somebody is pushing you to come here. Don't come here because your parents they say they will no longer help you financially. Come here because you know you need you need to change. Come here because you believe in Jesus Christ. Come here because you need Jesus Christ more than money. And come the way you are. Are you poor? Are you rich? Come. Because if you come, we cannot exchange the blessings of God with money. It is prohibited. It's against his words. You receive according to your faith. Whether you have anything or you have anything. The grace is sufficient. I bless you.